Hey guys, God bless you, God bless you. I just wanted to pop in just for a few minutes. And uh, quickly, I want to say hello to you. And uh, let's break some spiritual bread just for a few moments. Are you ready tonight? Come on, let me see your name, where you're joining in from. Uh, let me know where you are, how you're doing. And put that region up tonight. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. Amen. I am... Dr. Yvette Young, I'm so great, grateful to the Lord for every one of you. So I want to talk a little bit about reclaiming and recovering your glory. And I'm going to just do it for a few minutes tonight. So if you can come on in this, uh, this early evening, let's see, it's 3 p.m., right? Central Standard. Welcome, 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 wherever you are. Just put it up quickly. Let me know where you're coming in. Hallelujah. Come on in. Let's break some spiritual bread, okay? Let's break some spiritual bread. Quickly, I wanted to hop on with you. So let me read this in your hearing as you're coming. And uh, those of you who like to type, put it up there quickly. Put the scriptures up. I want you to put this down for me. Psalms 102, 16. Psalms 102, verse 16. Psalms 102, 16. For the Lord will rebuild Zion and appear in his glory. The next one I want you to put down. Galatians 1, 5. I want you to put that up. I want you to put up Exodus 33, 18. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. John 544. I want you to put that one up. And then you'll be able to notate these and look at them on your own time if you don't have your word with you. Hallelujah. 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 And then I want to kick off at Proverbs 25 2. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter. It is the honor of kings to search a matter out. All right. It is the glory of God to conceal a matter. There are a lot of matters around your life that are concealed, that are concealed, that are concealed. And it is the glory of God to actually cover some matters. Amen. And so everything right now that you need to know some of them are in secret places hidden places okay and so it is the glory of god to conceal it to cover it right he's covering it actually for you so that your enemies don't have access to some of the hidden things about your life some of the hidden secrets of your life so as you're coming in we're going to talk quickly about recovering your glory Recover your glory quickly. Amen. This is for somebody today because I'll tell you prophetically, um, there's going to be a lot of, uh, you know, spiritual warfare currency is happening in people's lives, not only all over the world, actually what you see uh, going on all over the world, um, you know, it's also a manifestation of what's going on in the lives of human beings. So, but I want to talk to you quickly tonight about recovering your glory, recovering your virtues, recovering what was stolen from you. And a lot of people don't know that there are things actually being sucked away from their lives. And I want to show you quickly how you're going to recover it. So right off the top, I want you to know that glory is something that God wants for you. And you may not know the fullness of what glory means, but we're going to get into just a little bit of it. One of the things about God's people that he wants for you is for you to shine. And I want you to know that you have a star. As you're coming in tonight, quickly share it and get somebody in with us tonight. Amen. You have a star. You have a star. You have a star. Um, every individual have a star. There are different size stars. There are different uh, 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 glories and splendors that come 
uh, from each of our lives, right? So maybe you are full of giftings, you're full of talents, you're very colorful, you're very gifted, you're very anointed, you're, you know, you're very good at certain things in this life, uh, even more than others. Your star was designed to be great. And a lot of people who are great today, that God called them great, but they're not really moving in their greatness. Can I talk to somebody quickly? God bless you, Bishop. Hallelujah. I see you coming in. Who is that? Sister Parrish. Come on in quickly. Now, men and women alike, everybody have a star. Even children. Even children have a star. Okay? And so, maybe you are highly, highly gifted, but yet your star has been hindered, it's been covered, it's been veiled, or it has been attacked. And so, a lot of times when you don't really understand what's going on around your life, it is the glory of God to conceal a matter. So you're going to have to ask God some serious, dangerous questions. And what I mean by that is you need to ask God for secret intelligence about your life. Okay? That's right. Write it out. You need, you need to get secret intelligence that is concealed about your life. There are some mysteries about your life. You don't know about them. God knows them, but you have to ask God because God is not just going to release things to you if you're not ready to receive them. He's not going to do that. So one of the things you need to do is to notate even that's why I have your prophetic prayer chamber journal here because I want you every time you tap in with me to notate these things. I told you before the before we get to December, you're going to see a lot of things change and shift in your life for the betterment of your life. Now, there's glory, there's glory that God wants to come forth from your life, but I need you to know that something is battling your glory. I, I don't know, I don't know who you are, but Satan has started to fight even children, as he did in the Bible days, looking for the star of Jesus. Looking for the star of Jesus, right? And so, here's the thing, you have a star, and it, it can be seen by not only good people or good eyes. It can be seen by negative eyes or negative people or a spirit from the dark world. Now get somebody in with you because I'm going to give you some secrets to help you with your life today. A lot of people are not going to accomplish their destiny. They're not. They're not. Not that God does not want them to. But you, if you don't open up to receive revelation... If you don't open up and say, oh, well, I have a closed mind about this. This is what I believe. I've always believed it. And I'm always going to believe it. Well, what if God has some concealed matters that he want to open up and expose to you? And that will shift the trajectory of your life. It will also shift the paradigm of what you have been thinking about some things or some matters before. Right? So there are quickly, number one, the Bible says Ephesians chapter 6, 10 read all the way through 18 and even further down that you are not wrestling with flesh and blood but you are wrestling with what spiritual wickedness in high places principalities powers rulers of the darkness of the world also agents and agencies of the demonic kingdom there are kingdoms of the demonic there are empires of the demonic Okay? Now, why I need you to know this before I tell you about the angelic side is because if you are ignorant of satanic devices, that means if you do a search on the word ignorant, you'll find out it's just an absence of light. It's an absence of uh, understanding about a matter, absence of um, wisdom about a certain matter. So you're in the darkness, you're in the blind. And anytime you have a blind side or a blind spot, just like when you're driving up the road, right? Sometimes you got to move up a little bit so that you can see out of your mirrors because you have a blind spot, okay? So when you have a blind spot, you're going to need God to show you what is over here. Pair, give give you a panoramic view or vision, right? So that you can see some things that have been hidden from your life. Now, most people who have great destinies, their stars are being fought. I'm telling you, their stars are being fought. 
Now, it's going to take your tenacity, your zeal, yes, all of that. It's going to take your determination, all of that. But one of the things that you must understand is that you're going to have to pray effectively. One of the things that I want to drop in your life today is to ask the Lord seriously some things concerning your life. Look at the age of your life. Look at the time frame. Look at how long you've been living. Look at where you are. Begin to monitor some things in your life, around your life. You should have been able to accomplish certain things by certain times. Now, I need you to know that certain demonic agencies, all they do is look for stars. All they do is look for stars. To do what? To veil you. A lot of people have veils on them. And if God open your eyes, for you yourself to see. This is why when you pray, say, Lord, open my eyes that I may see. Now, this is a very dangerous prayer because when you begin to see, sometimes you would doubt some things that you see. And that's why God does not really want to reveal certain matters to children. So he speaks, you know, Apostle Paul said, we speak the wisdom of God. A revelation of God. We speak, we speak deep things, deep mysteries to those that what are of age, spiritual age. Everybody can handle the truth about the spirit realm, and everybody cannot handle the truth about their own lives. God bless you, uh, brother Mac Daniels. God bless you. And so I want to, I want to, I want you to put this down in your spirit tonight. Just put it in your spirit tonight, because wherever you are. I, I don't ever want you to stop praying over your star. Okay? Never stop praying over your star. Never. Never stop praying over your star. If you live and you die and your star never was able to shine, it's not that God did not want you to. It's you did not have the necessary equipment or you were not you were you were not zoomed in to the realm of the spirit to know that your star was under attack right now again most times the enemy will come for children in the infancy stages of your life they can seize your star they can cover it and even every day of your life you know one of the things that happens in the realms of the spirit if the enemy feel that you know, he's not able to stop you from serving God. One of the things that they will do is to just hinder you and retract you or delay you, right? Which will bring frustration to your life, okay? So, I want you to know that God says in Proverbs 25, it is the glory of God to conceal a matter, but it is the honor of kings to search a matter out. Are you searching matters out over your life? Are you searching matters out? Are you asking God real questions concerning your life? Real questions. Are you asking the Lord, let me see as you see. Let me know the things that I need to know as you know them. Very important prayer. Very important prayer. Amen. What needs to be done? What prayers need to be prayed so that it can hit the target? A lot of times our prayers don't hit the target. So we ask God for wisdom. We ask God to give us revelation. We Come on, ask him right now for the spirit of revelation. Ask God for the spirit of revelation. Ask God for the spirit of revelation. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm waiting on people to come in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let me see if I can. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah to Jesus. Is it clear, everybody? Let me know if you can hear me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm coming. It's not going to be much longer. But I want this to be prayed in your life today. It's going to help you. It's going to help you. I want you to pray something. I want you to pray something. All right? Now, let me tell you that... Anybody who have come out of the dark kingdom and they have been converted into or translated into the kingdom of light. 
A lot of people who come out of the dark kingdom, they have secret intelligence. A lot of people that come out and God save them, set them free, they have secret intelligence about the dark realms. Okay? So, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Come on. Come on. I'm looking for somebody who really wants what I'm saying. Come on. Let's get somebody in with us tonight. Hallelujah, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They're not getting my notifications on Facebook. Ma ba 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 ra ba so do ro bo ko she ke ta la ba si ra ba 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 da bo ko re bi a sa da la bo ko so ko to ra ba sa da la ba ka the devil is a liar he's a liar today and God is true God is ready to do something in our lives but we are going to begin to pray we are going to begin to pray we are going to begin to pray I just want to share with you something that. Maybe you're not like really cognizant of it at this moment, all right? You're not aware of it. And I want to share that with you. I'm just sharing the post right now. That's all I'm doing. So give me 10 seconds here to just share it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hello, Hope Glover. Thank you and welcome. Um, Sometimes we're not aware of what's going on around us. So we have to stay in tune with the Holy One. Holy Spirit will begin to show us. Mm, look what's going on in your life. He'll begin to speak to you in your dreams. And this is why I tell everybody to write down your dreams. Write down your dreams. Write down your dreams. Very important. Come on, type it up there for me if you can. If you're not driving help me with this broadcast hallelujah so i want you to begin to write down your dreams write them down very important mm -mm -mm. what happened in your dream last night what happened in your dream when you woke up what happened what was going on did you did you write it down did you notate amen did you write it because you need to now take that as intelligence to know what to pray in and what to pray out. All right? We can pray prevention prayers or preventative prayers. And then we can pray curative prayers. I would like to prevent and, you know, instead of curing something. I want to prevent it from happening. All right? If it's something negative. But if it's something good, you got to begin to labor over that and bring that forth. You have to birth that out in the realm of the spirit. So if you're dreaming, you're going to have to begin to birth your prophetic dreams you're going to have to birth them through your prayer life so don't just say oh i dreamt that um i had this big house and uh it was fully laid out or, or i dreamt that i had my dream job or I had my dream husband or i had my dream wife or i i had uh, a major major promotion if you've had these dreams you can't just leave the dreams out there in the realm of the spirit. If it's something good and you you want it, you're going to have to. You're going to have to pray. You're going to have to pray it in. Amen. Hallelujah to Jesus. So I want you to, number one, pray. Pray about your glory. Your head is the symbol of your glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And many people have been shot in the dreams by bullets. Many people, many people have had their heads blown off in the realms of the spirit. Many people uh, show up naked. Many people have had occurrences in the dream where people are sleeping with you and they are there to take your glory. Most times you are seeing these things because somebody has their eye on you. Now, there are agents which are people and then there are agencies which is the demonic kingdom 
And so these kingdoms, they have different categories. They have different departments. So you have, of course, Illuminati. A lot of you guys don't know how deep that is. And I can't really go into all of that depth right here. It's just not convenient for me to do that to you. But there, there are some things that as your eyes are open, you will learn how to effectively pray. Somebody say effectively. You can pray for one hour effectively and it will do the job of five hours. Like there are people who can pray for like 12 hours straight. But if they are not praying effectively, I got to I gotta raise my voice. I, got, I need you to hear this today. Because there are people who say, oh, the length of time, the length, right? They focus on the length, right? And sometimes you have to focus on the length, but not all the time. You want to focus on effective. Come on. Effective. What in the world should I be praying right now, Father? See, we're going to focus on what God wants us to focus on. What is happening around my life in the realm of the spirit? And if I go to sleep and I don't see anything, then my eyes are closed and I did not effectively, hallelujah, see what the enemy was doing or see what God was doing in my life. And if I miss out on that, if I miss out on that, I can miss out on my next season. I can miss out on my next promotion. I can miss out on my, when I say season, a season in the realm of the spirit can last seven years, 10 years, 15 years. So what if God said, I'm about to change your season. So for the next 10 years of your life, you're going to, you know, you're going to be by still waters. I'm going to lay pleasant lines on your life. For the next 10 years, you're going to be in plenty. See, if you miss out on that season, now you're going to have to deal with thistles and thorns. And you're going to have to deal with a lot of pain and pressure. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So you're going to have to ask God, who in the world is tampering with my glory? And, and, so, and so, listen. Apostle Paul was way, way, way ahead of us, people of God. We have to accept that Apostle Paul had revelation from God to write two-thirds of the New Testament. So you should hear him. Because when we read about people, we are reading about them and their revelation of God. Ah. So God told Apostle Paul... You're not fighting with physical flesh and blood, which is easy. So easy to fight, guys, in the physical. It's not easy to fight in the spiritual because you're dealing with entities, powers, rulers, rankings. You're dealing with categories of empires. You're dealing with all kinds, hallelujah, of covenants and contracts and dealing with dedications. And, and oh my God, it goes on, the list goes on. And so you're trying to figure out what in the world going on with your life. You're going to need understanding. You're going to need revelation. You're going to need wisdom. You're going to need counsel. You're going to need the fear of God. You're going to need judgment. You're going to, listen, saints of God. Who is tampering with your glory? Somebody is tampering with your glory. Your star is being seen whether you think someone can see it or not. Hallelujah to Jesus. Oh my God. Help them to get it Holy Ghost. Help them to get it Holy Ghost. Now, if someone right now is in a COVID or someone have an altar and this altar, they are offering sacrifices against you to a demonic power. Can I talk to somebody even if it's just one person tonight? Just one? All right? If someone is taking and they are speaking negative words over you, they are speaking curses over you, they are speaking downfall to you, or now when they begin to go deeper and then they can start moving into different types of sacrifices. Somebody say different types because there are different types of sacrifices. Depending on what your enemy want to do with you. The Bible says the angel of the Lord encamped around those that fear God. Okay. A lot of times people don't fear God and they wind up getting busted up in the realm of the spirit. And I want to show you how to get your glory back. Hallelujah. How to get your glory back. How to get what was stolen from your life. I know what I'm saying because God knew who would pop on today. 
and the Lord knew who will listen to the replay. The Lord knew who will click it and listen. He knows all of these things. So as I was pricked to come on to tell you who is messing with your glory, you are a certain age. You should be a certain place. Something was supposed to happen for you. It didn't happen for you. You keep on being delayed. Things are not what the prophet told you or what you saw in the realms. You see that there is a lot of things of fighting around your life right at the edge of your success or your breakthrough. Something goes wrong. Your finances are being hit back to back to back to back to back. Crazy things happening and you're like, no, this is not in alignment with what I know God wants for my life. Who is tempted? with your glory question question are you willing are you willing to fight for your destiny are you willing to fight for your star because we got to start there i'm almost done we have to start there are you willing to fight for your destiny because you must be willing to really engage now, you can be content with where you are, but I'll tell you this. If God has revealed something to you and is greater than what you are seeing right now, you can decide personally, am I just going to stay at this level or will I pursue what God wants for me? Okay? So it's a personal decision, really. I have seen people say they don't feel like praying, they don't feel like fasting, they don't feel like doing all of that. And so they just handle and deal with and tolerate where they are in life. And that is their own choice, right? We all have been given one. But if God has come to you and the Lord has revealed some things to you in your dreams, you've seen so many beautiful things that's supposed to happen for you and your family. Something that is supposed to take place in your life at a certain time, right? If you have seen it and then you say, I don't know if I can get that. Or I don't know. You begin to doubt in yourself after seeing something great that God has planned for you. And you say, ah, I don't know if I have the energy enough to pursue my destiny. It's a personal decision. It truly is. And I've spoken to people who are on both sides of the fence. Okay? But what I want for you people is that I, I encourage you not to allow yourself to settle in on crumbs. That's all. You know, you can choose what you want. But I just want to talk to maybe one or two people here today that are saying, I know, I, 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 I know my life is not supposed to look like this. Am I talking to somebody today? I know that, 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 that something is wrong for the last 15 years of your life, last 20 years of your life. You see the devil just taking advantage of you and your family, of your health, taking advantage of your, your finances, taking advantage of your future. Somebody always taking what belongs to you. Oh, right there. I was about to get it, but somebody else got it. Somebody else came in that was that was this, that was that. Oh, they gave it to this one and that. They said it was mine, but then, you know, something happened. And then all of these things are happening. And people refuse to battle for what is theirs. Because you don't have the understanding that God is just not going to do everything for you. He's not going to do everything. He's not going to do our part. He is going to empower us. He's going to strengthen us. He's going to give us what we need to come through, to overtake, to pursue, to recover all. <laughs> all right? So, listen to me today. They have all sorts of things that they do. The demonic kingdoms. Okay? They have all sorts of things that they do. Are you here? Are you hearing me? Alright? Now, let me tell you. A lot of people who are fair to look upon, they get attacked a lot. A lot of people who have great stars, 
they get attacked a lot. A lot of people who are colorful, like Joseph, they get attacked a lot. And people can come around you and they can do all kinds of spells against you. They can put all kinds of things in your food, things in your water to try to kill you, to try to take you out. There are people that will take your picture. They will take a piece of your hair. You can go to a jealous hairstylist and take a piece of your hair. They will take all things that will come to you. If They can come in the front of your business and take the dirt from in front of your business and speak curses over it. They can come into your home. That's why you got to know who's coming into your home. You got to know who's around your life. People People want your glory. They want your husband. They want your wife. They want your health. They want your figure. Listen, they will fight you for the smallest, minutest things and you don't even know that somebody want what you have and they will go to any extent, any length to bring you down. Who is after your glory? Listen. Oh, you had a baby. How you had a baby? I didn't have a baby. Oh, you got a husband. How you get a husband? I don't look so because I don't have one now. What they're going to do is to try to put an arrow in between you and your spouse so that they can take your spouse right from under you. And if you don't know how to pray, these enemies will get by with murder. They will get by with all kinds. Hallelujah. Makaria And so I want you to pray today. Whoever is manipulating my glory let them be ashamed let them come to an open shame now quickly I just want to tell you this there's a whole lot of arrows that are being sent out the Bible says while men slept the enemy so tears a lot of arrows land on Christians all the time they receive arrows sometimes you feel a feeling you go to the store and then something like you feel like, oh, what was that? Something shocked you or whatever. A lot of people are not even sensitized enough to know that that was an arrow, a flaming dart that was shot out against them. Boom! To bring them down, to bring them into paralyzation. There are a lot of Christians in wheelchairs, a lot of Christians on crutches, a lot of Christians with canes, a lot of Christians are bent over, a lot of Christians are sick because it was an arrow. And if you don't know that someone is manipulating your glory, manipulating your money, your wealth that God says is yours. Now, a lot of people take an oath of poverty and that's their business. But if I open up the Bible and find out that my father wants me blessed, I'm going to take my father's words for it and I can care less about what anybody else has to say about it. You got to be like a bulldog on a piece of meat when it comes to the word of God. <laughs> I said a bulldog on a piece of meat. What did God say for your life? What did he say? So if he has shown you and that you, you have all these dreams, you know, you know, that was one thing with me. I've been dreaming for a long time. So I tell people the dreams and they be mad. Like, oh, Lord, what's she going to say now? What, you know, oh, Lord, here she go. I mean, I see it way before it's about to happen. And they're like, oh, Lord, you know. And then, oh, God is giving her information about the, <laughs> about my life. And people don't like that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, God says, I give my secrets to those that fear me. Mm. And so Joseph dreaming the family didn't like that you somebody around you which is in your family people that want your birth date to do prognostication to speak over you to bring you down to make sure that you will never rise if you think everybody is saved if you think everybody that go to church or you think everybody in your family want the best for you pray Pray, pray. That's what you call household witchcraft. Somebody say household witchcraft. Household witchcraft. Household. Come right from in your own house. They know you. They know your birthday. They know what you have. They know how to manipulate your life because they have a little bit more intelligence. They have a little bit more information on you. Oh my God. And so these are things that you got to pray about. How are you going to recover your glory when you should be ahead of the game? When you should be the head and not the tail? When you should be above but you are beneath? Huh? You're going to have to pray God. Every person that is manipulating my glory, every power, every agency of the wicked, let them go down by fire. God said that he is angry with the wicked every single day, every day. Y'all are too, I'm telling you, you are too, 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 too.
kind to your enemies. <laughs> if you've seen yourself in a dream and somebody is wearing your clothes in a dream, or if you see yourself bald-headed in a dream or butt-naked in a dream, if you've seen all these things in a dream, somebody is manipulating your glory. If you're seeing, listen, listen, listen. If they took your clothing, that means they are wearing your clothing. They are wearing your garment. They are wearing your wealth. They are taking from you. If you see that your shoe is off, always in the dream, your shoes are always gone. You always got holy clothes on like, like with holes in it. You in the dream, you got raggedy attire on, raggedy garments in your dream, in your dream. That means somebody is tampering with your glory. That means they are taking your name to a COVID. They are taking something that belongs to you and they are trying, hallelujah, to manipulate and steal from you. Unfortunately, you know, the church that don't want to be militant or allowing Satan and his kingdoms to get away with a lot. His empires, underworld empires, heavenly empires are doing so much to people. China always in the in the, in the water, swimming in the water all the time. I had a little girl, she said she's always swimming with, and she got a fishtail on her, a whole mermaid. She's 10 years old and people don't know how to pray for their children to begin to break that marine spirit off of them. Praying over your water, praying over your, the water that you drink, praying over the bath water, praying over, praying over and dedicating everything to the living God. To what? To make sure that you sanitize what they pollute. There are so many people that are dying before their time and I'm wailing and lamenting and howling because they are dying before their time. They are sick and you shouldn't be sick. And how are you going to accomplish your destiny? Always sick and on medication. What destiny are you going to fulfill? Some of you, as in a book of Revelation, you are just too cold. Oh, I'm an introvert. You know, I, I had people tell me that and God bless them. I mean, I was an introvert, if that's the thing. But when the battle came to me as a kid and then another battle and then another battle and then another battle and another battle, the Lord said, look. I am calling you a warrior woman. After the order of Deborah, prophetess Deborah, every woman is not going to keep her mouth quiet and sit down and let the snake and the dragon run over her, run over the family. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 315, listen, the enemy have enmity between the snake and the woman, the woman and the snake. The devil wants to make sure that he can snipe the women and get rid of their children. She is the bearer of seed. You as a woman can carry the next king, can carry the next anointed one into the earth. You can birth the next generation, hallelujah, of those that's going to carry the glory of God. Satan wants to shut you up. Oh, just sit still. Don't, don't talk, you know. The women should be quiet. We need a quiet voice. Like, read the whole counsel of the word. That's why people are taking the contextual scriptures out of context. And they don't understand that there are mantles. They don't understand that there are anointings. So when people just talk like that, I'd be like, oh, well, just continue with your etiquette and keep on showing people how to eat with forks and stuff. And that's good. Make sure you know what fork to eat from and how to cross your legs and how to get in a car and be a, be a dainty woman. There's nothing wrong with that. But honey, there's a spiritual war out here. If your child wake up and say somebody was sleeping with them in the nighttime, what you going to do? Oh, we're not going to lift our voice because, you know, we're so dainty and we, you know, we can't do that. And, you know, we just got to be of a quiet, meek voice and, you know, no, 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 no. Devil in the mighty name of Jesus, I come for your head. Don't you come back in my house. Listen, saints of God, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence and the violent must. What have we allowed? What have we allowed? What have we allowed? I'm going. I'm closing out. 
What have we allowed in our families because we couldn't become violent as the Lord said, not what some guru on social media said, not what some content creator said. Kaliava, Zaleke Kotoya, Rika Payala Sotorava. That's right. Content creators are just that. They're looking, they're looking to, you know, just get a following and fans. But I'm looking to establish the kingdom. Listen, I'm looking to do my part. Because those of you who are hearing from me, there is something around your life that is being eaten up by the cake around the palm around the caterpillar. Something around your life. The devil is running all over and you're going to have to confront him. <laughs> Which is come trooping through your house when you sleep. And you sit there talking about, oh... We're not going to lift our voice. We're just going to put on our stockings and our high heel shoes and our Chanel. And we just got to be dainty. Witches and warlocks are eating up. You don't know the next attack they're about to bring to your money, to your children, to your marriage. You don't know what they're about to do. And because you don't understand that there is a time and a place and a season for everything, you can trivialize the matters of the kingdom and become so socially acceptable. And you'll begin to become so, you know, secular humanism. And you become so, so you know, so, you know, human ideologies and philosophies. And you begin to to idolize that instead of being kingdom who's after your glory who's after your glory who's after your glory Lord open my eyes come on Lord open my eyes and father everything that they are using whether they are using the elements whether they are using the sun, the moon, the star, whether they are using the water, whether they are using the dirt, whether they are using food to feed in me at night. Come on. Have you been eating the wrong food and wake up feeling sick and wake up feeling all kinds of things are going down around your life? Hallelujah. What are they feeding you? How are they able to feed you while you are asleep? Ah, Wake up, oh Zion. A lot of things that happen to people, they think, oh, it's just life. Oh, life is life. And oh, that's what it is. Life is life. And no, honey, you get a whole lot of arrows from a kingdom you don't know nothing about. And because your eyes are closed, you think, oh, life is life. And oh, no, honey, my life is supposed to get brighter and brighter every day. Life is not life. And I'm supposed to be strategic and know by the spirit what's happening around my life. It is the glory of God to conceal the matter. It is the honor of kings to search a matter out. I don't have no help today, but I got it in my, I got it in my soul. I got it in my belly. Say, not on my watch. Not on my watch. Another one is not going to die on my watch. Another one of my people are not going to die on my watch. Another one. Come on. Come on. What has been going down? What have the enemy been trying up around your life? Come on, saints of God. Say, Lord, I need to recover the fullness of my glory. The fullness of my glory. Whomever has manipulated my head, who has cut my hair. Spiritual barbers that cut your hair in the dream. They cut your hair in a dream. They cutting down your glory. You're supposed to have a salary of 150 grand. They cut you down to 65 grand a year. They cut your glory. What are you supposed to have, saints of God, that you are allowing the satanic empires and its kingdoms and the governmental kingdom of the devil and the darkness of the world? What are you allowing them to get away with? Call me crazy. It's all right. I'm crazy for Jesus. It, it's all right. It, it's already established. I'm way out there on the deep end. It's okay. I'm, 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 <laughs> it's all right. Because as long as I can help you to get to your next, as long as I can break you out, hallelujah, I'm good. Because God going to take care of me. So what I want you to understand today is there's a certain kind of prayer you need to always pray. Okay? I'll tell you again. People, if you are seeing yourself in dreams, always losing shoes, always with garments on that are holy, got a lot of holes in them, or you're seeing somebody else wearing your clothing, mm -hmm. 
Or you seen yourself butt naked in a dream. Right? Or you seeing you're seeing yourself walk in front of people and it's like all your undergarments are gone. Mm -hmm. Or you seeing your garments spotted up with all kinds of things. Or you seeing yourself just all kinds of things around your life, maggots. You're seeing all these things. Somebody is tampering with your life. People who understand spiritual matters. This is why the trumpet's call is saying to you, it's not just about going to church. You, you do that to fulfill all righteousness, go and fellowship. But at some point, you're going to have to know that life is spiritual. And may God give you the spirit of revelation. To break every power of delay off of you. God bless you. Man of God, Prince Ken. I see you. God bless you. You know, there are things that you're supposed to have at this point. But it's in the custody of someone else. Someone is sitting on your throne. When you're supposed to be ruling with Jesus Christ. Can we move into that place of rulership? You know, I know everybody won't. However, I do know that there are a few. My hair was cut a long time ago in a dream and yet walked in front of my family and my clothes were gone. You see that? These are things that are real. Oh God. I'm going to pray with you today. But I want you to know this. I want you every day to pray about your glory. Write it down in your prophetic prayer chamber journal. By the end of the year, you are going to see the things that I'm telling you come to pass. Listen. People who don't know how to pray effectively, they just deal with circumstances that God never intended for them. Everything you go through is not a matter of, oh, God just got you going through a trial. Oh, it's God. You know, I'm just waiting on God. Well, God told me everything is not just about waiting on him. Sometimes it is the enemies of your soul that are fighting to delay everything about your life and to frustrate your life. So, in the holy name of the Lord Yeshua today, I want to pray for those of you who are here witnessing today, who maybe have seen these things in dreams. Um, being delivered from the marine kingdom, a lot of people in the church have to be delivered from that kingdom. A lot of people in the church don't know that they are in that kingdom. They don't know that. So, <laughs> Jesus, that's a whole nother day. They don't know that they have been either dedicated to it or initiated into it. How do you get initiated into a kingdom without knowing? Very easily. You can eat at the wrong place, drink at the wrong place, and get initiated. You can sleep with the wrong person, get initiated. It's so easy for these things to happen. But... The ignorance of the church, a lot of people in the church, they are so unaware. Now, every body of water, it doesn't mean that just because you go into water or swimming in water that you are a part of the marine kingdom. Okay, God has crystal waters. God has rivers of living water. You can swim in rivers of living water. But if we do an analysis on your life and we discover that it's not the holy waters that you're, that you're swimming in and we go a little deep into what's going on around your life, right? We look at, we, we look at some data around your life. Look at some things that's going on around your life. We can determine what water you're swimming in. And many women have seen they had on a mermaid attire. They had on a crown. Many women have seen they are married to mermen. A 
okay? And they love the Lord. So how do you break away from these things? You're going to have to have the right information, number one. My people are destroyed for what? How are God's people destroyed? Very first thing. What's the thing that destroys his people? Just one person answer. For the lack of knowledge. That's how people are destroyed. So imagine when people close their mind to knowledge. They're only destroying themselves. That's like when we say, oh, don't eat this. This right here is, is not going to really help your physicality. It's not going to help you. And they continue to eat it, right? Well, okay. You know, people can do what they want to do. We can't make people do the right thing, but we can definitely afford you the opportunity of getting the knowledge. So when God reveals the revelation and he says, now show them this is how this works, we can say, I want to apply it, I want to implement it, or we can just be like, mm. right? We have that choice. So I want you to get your glory back. The Lord wants you to get your glory back. Witches should not be able to play with your glory. Witches should not be able to play with your glory, but they do all the time. So the Lord's going to teach us how to fight effectively and pray effectively to get the job done. Hallelujah. Father, these are your people. I bless them today in the name of the Lord. Anyone tampering with their glory... Let the electricity of heaven strike. Oh God. Let the thunders of your kingdom begin to strike. Mm -hmm. Every one of the people of God that are here today. Let them repossess their possessions. Repossess what they stole from you. Say, God, whatever you have released to my life, I want it back. I recover it by fire. I take it out of their possession and I recover what belongs to me. What has my name on it? Oh, Lord. Hey. What did they take from your children? What did they take from your grandkids? What are they doing to manipulate, 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 manipulate? Hey. Cut them off. In the name of Jesus. That's why I teach holiness over here. Because a lot of times when people don't live holy, they don't live holy, then, you know, they sleep with the wrong person. They do deals with the wrong person. They come in contact with the wrong people. All of these initiations, dedications are taking place. Trading and hands on, you know, trading your glory. And, you know, you're coming in contact with all kinds of different people that are hosts of spirits. And all these things are going on. And then we're trying to fight. And then the enemy is like, no, I have a legal right here. Hallelujah. So, Father, I thank you that just because they have heard the message, they are recovering what was stolen. They are recovering. They are repossessing. And the next time we meet again, Father, they will have a testimony. Glory to God. I pray, Father, that this will be their opportunity, oh God, to see many things begin to return back to their life. Whatever witch, whatever curse, whatever spell, Father, let them come from underneath it. And let them move out of the curse into the blessing of God in the name of Jesus. I thank you in the mighty name of the Lord. Anyone that's using a mirror, anyone that's using witchcraft materials, anyone that's lighting a candle on them, anyone that is trying to break up anything that you have designed for their life, God, I pray today that it will come to naught. Let it go back to the sender. They will reap what they sow. They will reap what they have sown. They will reap it. Their generation will reap the wickedness. In the name of the Lord. God is angry with the wicked every day. All right? So we thank God for what he's going to do in our lives. Amen? Now, I want to welcome you to Transform Me. If you haven't been to the website, come to 
www.transformationisnow.org. Transformationisnow.org. Come there. So much I have, and I'm about to, you know, share a lot more with you all that I have. I'm working on a lot. I just keep working. I just keep working for the betterment of your life. There must be a shift around your life. Some of you need to sign up to work with me. Some of you need to be with me eight weeks, nine weeks, 11 weeks, three months, four months. Some of you need to unravel your life and get a long lasting impact in your life. Amen. So when you're ready, you need to talk to God about it so we can get going in your life. So your life won't look this way next year if the Lord tarries. You have to see something different in your life. It can't be the same. We can't be having the same prayer point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like things have to shift for you. Amen. All around your life. Amen. And so the Lord is going to begin to establish your life. <laughs> The Lord is going to begin to establish your life and undo a lot of things that were done to you. Many of you, you know, this work started when you were a baby. So imagine you saying, oh, I just want to call for one hour. Like, what is one hour going to do? We got to unravel some stuff, right? A lot of things, you know, a lot of things happen in your childhood. There are witches in people's families that started taking their glory when they were children and messed up their lives. They got in all kind of horrible relationships because they didn't know they were programmed to be in that. Many people were molested and incest and all kind of rape and abuse and all kinds of things that they are still dealing with the repercussions of. And so that's why we got to deal with the debt. Hallelujah. And see God come and bring restoration and wholeness to every person that's been in impacted and so i just want to thank everybody hallelujah for joining for listening and don't forget pray every night just let it be a part of your prayer anyone tampering with your glory anyone tampering with your glory come on anything that's tampering with your glory you are supposed to shine arise and shine for that light has come and the glory of god what shall arise upon you. The Gentiles are supposed to see your light and come running to you. But many people, your light is not on your head. They're not coming. And so we need you to recover, recover everything that was stolen from the robbers of the demonic kingdoms. And may the glory of the living God come upon you and your household. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You will recover your glory. You will recover your glory. You will recover your possessions. You will recover all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I declare it over you in the name of the Lord. So don't forget, transformationisnow.org. If you need help with anything, I can help you. Amen. Financially, if you need to sign up for a course and you say, woman of God, I need a discount. I do all of that for people because I'm here to work with you, amen, to see your life change. But you got to invest. Like, you can't just be, like, taking everything for free, free, free when you can't go to H-E-B and get nothing for free. You can't go to a shrink, a psychologist, a psychiatrist. You can't go to none of those people for free. So it's an investment into your spiritual life that's going to alter your life and the generations after you. Everything that we do is an investment for the next generation. Everything. You can sow a seed into the healthy ground, the healthy soil, and immediately your son will call you and say, Daddy, look what just happened. And they didn't just got a contract. You're like, whoa. See, we don't play with our seed. We don't play with the kingdom of God. We know how it works. We know how it works. So we sow because our heart is into the kingdom. And as you are expanding the kingdom and helping it to go forward, the Lord is saying, I'm not going to forget your house. I'm not going to forget you. I'm not going to forget your health. I'm not going to forget your children. I'm not going to forget them. And this is what we teach. It's a well-rounded ministry where we're giving, giving, giving. But now we need people to now give back so that we can work together. Amen. For the glory of God to be seen all around our lives. Amen. So if those of you want to support the ministry or if you need a consultation, come to transformationisnow.org. Come and get that consultation. Even a discovery call to see if 
feel good to work together. I have so many courses. I have things on business essentials that you need to help you. Those that are called to do business. Many people are an anointed businessman, an anointed businesswoman. I have essentials for you to help you start your business and I'm here to help you along the way. Also, those who need to get your credit together. I've got you. I can help you in so many different areas. So you need to just come and see what it is that you need to do over here. Let's partner. Um, let's go. I'm going to help your life. You're going to help mine. And we're going to keep moving. And we're going to keep growing up this mountain. We're going up to where? Mount Zion. We're going to the top. We're not being down where the enemies are playing and the snakes are doing one thing or the other. We're going to get to the high places. The Bible says the eagles go up, what, 10,000 feet above sea level. We are eagles. So let's go. Okay? Underneath depression, underneath, I break that off of you in Jesus' name. Let's get to where your father is saying, come, come, come up higher and rule with me in my throne. So you're ruling from a high dimension over the creation of God, over the enemies that have come to destroy your life. Hallelujah. I bless you and I bless everything that God is doing in your life. It is secure and it is permanent by the blood covenant of Christ. God bless you. I'll see you again. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.